Hello, in this video, we're going to review how to divide with decimals using long division. So the first thing we're going to do is take the problem we have, 2 and 73 hundredths divided by 1 and 3 tenths, and write it as a long division, with the 2 and 73 hundredths being on the inside and the 1 and 3 tenths being on the outside. Now, you cannot actually divide with a decimal. The reason being that 1 and 3 tenths has two digits, and it is smaller than 2, which is only has one digit. So you can't can't actually have 1 and 3 tenths go into 2 a number of times and be able to subtract. To be able to do long division, the number on the outside has to be a whole number. So to do that, we're going to take 1 and 3 tenths and multiply it by 10. Because when you multiply it by 10, the decimal moves over one place. But mathematics needs a balance. So the 2 and 73 hundredths will also multiply by 10 and also will move the decimal one place. So that you wind up with 27 and 3 tenths divided by 13. And then that decimal point comes straight up. And once you bring that decimal point straight up, you can divide this problem the same way you would do with whole numbers. You can completely ignore the decimals now that they're taken care of. I will also add vertical lines to keep my place values from kind of crossing over each other and making the problem get a little messed up. Now, 13 will not go into 2. 2 is too small. So I'll see how many times 13 can go into 27. And to do that, you may not know your 13 times tables. It is perfectly fine to do work on the side. 13 times 2 is 26. 26 is really close to 27 without going over. So 13 times 2 is 26. And you subtract and get 1. When subtracting, the number you get must be smaller than the number you're dividing with. And 1 is smaller than 13, so we're good. So you go to the next place value. You bring down the 3. And now we have 13 and 13. Well. 13 divides into 13 one whole time. Because 13 times 1 is 13, subtracting gets 0. And when you get 0, you are done on the subtracting. So the answer is 2 and 73 hundredths divided by 1 and 3 tenths is 2 and 1 tenths. You put your final answer under the division sign right under what you're dividing, and then you box it in. So let's do one more example. 4 and 92 hundredths divided by 4 tenths. Again, write the problem out the way that you see it but you cannot divide with a decimal on the outside because four tenths would go into four ten times. And there's no room in the place values when holding your place values to have multiple places. So we will multiply the four tenths by 10, moving the decimal over once, and multiplying the four and then 200 by 10, moving the decimal plate over one, and you'll have 49 and two tenths divided by four. And when we write this out again, we have 49 and 2 tenths, we'll bring the decimal point straight up, and then we can just divide and ignore the decimal. And again, when dividing, you may want to bring down vertical lines or draw them in so that you can pay attention to what you're doing, and it'll help you keep your place values. Now, when we go to this division, 4 can go into 4 one whole time. Since 4 goes into 4 once, I put a 1 there, and 4 times 1 is 4, and we subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0, which is a number that was less than the four we're dividing with, so we're good. Go to the next place value, bring down a number, it's a nine. Four can go into nine. Four goes into nine twice. Four times two is eight. We'll bring the eight down here, and again we subtract. Nine minus eight is one, and when subtracting you must get a number less than the number you're dividing with. One is less than four, so we're okay. We go to the next place value, we bring down the next number. Four goes into twelve, three times, because four times three is 12, and when subtracting, we get a zero, meaning that we're going to be done. Four and 92 hundredths, we go back to the original numbers, divided by four tenths is 12 and three tenths. So when you're going to divide with decimals, please remember the number on the outside cannot be a decimal when actually doing the long division. You have to multiply it by a 10 or a 100, or however many places it is to get that decimal all the way to the end on the outside number. The inside number just does whatever the outside number did. Once you've done that, and once you've brought your decimal point straight up, then you can just divide like you normally do with whole numbers.